Hey everyone, this is Troll RK Marksman Part 4. It actually happened. We became a slime troll in Lair. I never thought we'd see the day, but this might be, I think, the first ever time where I've wanted to be a Jeeva follower and I actually got an altar in Lair. It never happens, but it did, believe it or not. So, uh, well, we, we kind of finished Lair. Uh, we didn't actually clear it, but there are a few Hydras running around we can't deal with, and a ghost that we can't really kill. So, uh, well, we got the loot that we we're going to find, so I'll just skip it for now, and we can maybe come back later. The next place to head to is Orc. I don't know that we've found... we haven't yet. So it's still greyed out, saying it can be between 9 and 12. How far have we been in dungeon? We've been to 11. So I'm guessing Orc's probably on D12 then. Alright, let's head to D11 and have a look. Whoa, okay. That's right, I remember now. <laughs> I remember why we left D11. Jeez. Okay, we'll give him the touch. And I'll turn on my regen too. Let's go. Touch and regen. That did it. I was hoping that we'd get... Um, we'd get some mutagenic chunks then. Because we can... Hey, we're at full party. Because uh, with our ability to, uh, not yet, but the ability that we will get to remove bad, harmful mutations, uh, we can place some mutation roulette. And you see that um, our piety is building really quickly, so we're already at four. If we, oh, well, this is done, but we could call in. So there's a whole bunch of items over here, so we can pretty easily just boost our piety. We feel weaker, we feel agile. Right, this is another thing that Jeeva does. So uh, he messes around with your attributes. So he just took one of our strength and gave us a dex. So, yeah, <laughs> so much you can do about it. Oh, oh these things got eaten, okay. So if we, if we keep going up, and like this, uh, if we wait a bit, because it comes up the stairs, he'll send them, but we can also request a jelly. So this ability, uh, you don't use it to get it to fight for you. Rather what you do is you call it in to start eating items for you. And you can see as it eats, it splits. So that one jelly became two, and then oh, now three. So if we just walk around like this on these floors, we can kind of... Shiva alters your body, so we became clever. Ah, okay, well he mutated us. Cool. All right. So if we just walk around like this, we could actually uh, get our piety up pretty quickly. Although, now that we have four and we have access to Slimify, I'm pretty happy. That's the one thing that I was worried about. So let's head to D12 then. Now we have a very, oh right, D11 still going. Now we have a very good panic button in the form of, all right, I don't need to eat anymore. In the form of having slime fight, so we can one hit kill most monsters. Certainly most monsters we find in this stage of the game. Let's grab these large rocks before they get eaten. Excellent, so we've got 20 now. And because we're going to get f satiation to our hunger from everything the slimes eat, uh, we don't really need to bother butchering corpses or anything anymore. Let's check this out. Poison resistance, awesome. I was worried that it was going to be really hard to find that because, uh, well, it didn't get eaten, so we got lucky. But we did, okay. Um, we don't really need it for Orc though, but it will be good once we have to go to the Sneak Pit. Let's do D12, let's find our entrance to Orc. Whole bunch of yaks. Um, 
we'll just take them off like this. We'll regen before we go down. I like how <laughs> with my low spell power, as soon as I cast it, it's all, it's immediately running out. It was a mimic. Uh, uh, this guy is owning us. We'll just walk around a bit and we'll outrage on him. Okay, let's try again. We'll go to touch. Alright, that did it. What did it? Good. What happened there? Something hits up all priest. Ah, oh, okay, so you got hit by a jelly. Thank you, Jelly. Uh, they're neutral, but they'll still fight um, enemies. It's kind of like uh, another ugly thing. Uh, when you free all the Pakel slaves, they're not actually friendly, but they uh, will fight stuff in the dungeon. Give it a touch. Yes. Invis. Got him. And we didn't get a corpse again. Jiva alters your body. You feel stupid, okay. That's the thing about Jiva's mutations as well. Don't get attached to any. Because it's very likely that uh, you won't be keeping them for long. This looks like a good position to do our Song of Slaying, because we're in a choke point. So for each one of these enemies we hit, we get an extra slay. We're at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got 6 extra slaying there for uh, 3 points of charms investment. That's why I think it's funny that uh, people say it's a bad spell. We're going to lose that large rock. No. That's okay. Uh, let's not lose those though. <laughs> A pair of antenna grow in your head. So that lets us uh, detect enemies. You feel agile, you feel weaker. Basically, Jeeva is just gonna mess with all our stuff. Well, here we go again. That's our orc entrance, by the way. But there are a lot of enemies here. So we're gonna regen and we're gonna sing. And we're gonna get all this sweet sling bonus. We're at four at the moment, five, six, seven, we got to eight. We'll sing again. We'll try. And we'll fail our regen too, that's all right. Look at this, slay plus nine. Hell yeah. See, when you use that, when you use that spell properly, it is really, really strong. We killed a troll, but we didn't get a troll out of armor, which is sad because that would give us a little more AC than a robe and would also give us extra regen again. We're already up to five piety. That lets us cure bad mutes. All right, let's go. Let's quaff a mutation potion. What do we get? Small horns, int minus two, slightly less encumbered by your armor. That's pretty good. The encumbered less by your armors were ultimately nice. Um, when we're wearing a robe, it doesn't do too much. And then having horns is good for DPS. What did you do there? Oh, we just lost our horns. All right, well, let's cough another one. As I was saying, don't get attached to any. Your spells are a little harder to cast, but a little more powerful. I don't like that. Go again. Your flesh is cold resistant. Your muscles are strong. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, they're going to change again in a second anyway. <laughs> so, whatever. Again, we're in a hallway here, fighting a pack of enemies. Let's sing. Get our sweet slay bonus. Uh, we'll kill that before we read the scroll, in case it's immolation. Acquirement, okay. Uh, this pretty much is armor, and we're hoping that we get some form of dragon armor. Weapon, we're using our core, so obviously that would never help us. Do we eat the glowing hat? Uh, it's never gonna be better than our uh, hat of the bear spirit. Plus two, yeah. no. I guess we'll carry it? 
Cause it's just gonna get eaten. But no, there's no, there's no, there's no universe where we're gonna use a hat of plus int over the hat of the bear spirit. Okay, well they're already making noise, so I guess singing doesn't really make things worse. And another special thing about being a large race, such as a troll or an ogre, you still move slowly through water, but you don't get, if you're standing in it, you don't get a penalty to your attacks. Makes uh, shoals a bit better as well. Alright, let's go into Orc. We have a lot of MR. Oh, can we get it this time? I walked him away from the deep water so that uh, if I confused him, he didn't drown. I'm not sure you can actually. Trolls, enemy trolls, I think, can walk in deep water. We're being attacked by something invisible. Unseen horror. Okay. Dispatched. We have a lot of MR. We have almost max MR. So Orc should be not too bad. We're not afraid of being uh, paralyzed with this amount of MR. Alright. Here's Urug. I guess we'll just pick up her tomahawk. Uh, it's kind of a scary um, entrance to Orc, but that's okay. If we just stare dance things up and down. We should be fine. Gio is messing around with our attributes again. <laughs> On all our level ups we picked Int over Dex, but Gio is all like, nah, nah, you didn't want Int, you definitely wanted Dex. Thanks Gio. This is one of the things I was talking about, where Gio doesn't necessarily help you, but I'm sure he means well. We got our Necromancy to 3. Um, our regen's still at 30%. I think I'll go... Will I go one more to four? Yeah, we'll go one more. Why not? Let's put our regen on while we stare dance some stuff up. Still, three trolls, no troll of the armor. Never lucky. I can't really complain about luck, to be fair, because we did get, we did get that slime altar. And was that a magic shield? No, it's just plain. Okay. Is that current shield plain? It is. Alright. In this case, we can make some um, style decisions. So I think this one's alright. The yellow on the shield matches the yellow of our robe pretty well. How about this one? Hmm. No, I don't like that one. Let's go. Oh, it was cursed. Never mind. Okay, well, we lose one of our nine. Remove curse scrolls in an attempt to look more fashionable. Yeah, that one looks better. I'm gonna carry this other shirt around with us because maybe we don't know if we're gonna change our armor. So we might have additional fashion choices to make in the future. Let's confuse her. Cool, we've got a whole bunch of javelins. What have we got? 5 javelins, 7 tomahawks, and 23 large rocks, which is really, really good at this stage of the game. And we're already at full piety. Hmm, it means I could... Oh god, there's a stone giant. I really want his large rocks, but I also don't want to die. Uh, but we could, we could head into slime and just get the slime rune. Yeah, why not? Let's go slime. Slime pits. Level 1. So all the slimes will be neutral. So I'm not I'm not going to have to fight anything. Uh, so I'm not worried about having resist corrosion or anything like that. Um, and yeah, once upon a time there used to be an ability you could use that would briefly stop the slimes from eating things. So when you got into 
Sl the last level of slime, you'd spam it as you ran to the items to try to get as many as you could. But that doesn't exist anymore. Alright, slime pit. Level 1, let's go. You feel agile, you feel stupid. Please stop, I picked... I picked int. I considered it and then picked int over dex. Please, Jeeva. Uh, okay, so we can now slimeify these. Um, so if we, and these, these failures for all your abilities, they don't rely on invocations or anything. So this invocations training is now pretty useless, gives us a bit of extra magic points, which, uh, makes us tankier due to guardian spirit, but, uh, your abilities for Jiva are purely based on your piety. So let's slimify. A thick mucus forms on your claws, so when I hit him, he'll become a slime. Um, it only works once though each time. So if you're fighting multiple enemies at once, and there's one particular one you want to hit, uh, be careful who you hit. Don't just hit tab. Make sure you hit the right one. Cool. So it became an azure jelly. That's how you deal with hydras as Jiva. And all these guys are neutral, as you can see. So we just basically just dive. As long as we don't accidentally <laughs> dissolution. For a second there, I just had a worrying moment of wait, is dissolution neutral as well? He is. As long as we don't accidentally walk on the walls. Uh, I don't think it's possible to die here. Or we um, say we hit one of the slimes and attacked it, that would put us under penance. In which case, all the slimes would then attack us. Okay. How often is it that you go first rune slime? Uh, although we're down to five piety, so I don't know if I don't know if it will open now. I think we need to be six. We can go check it out. This is basically the. Uh, thin slimy tendrils emerge from your body. So this green mutation is one of the special Jeeva ones. You may disarm your opponents. I assume that's when they hit you. Okay, it is open. So maybe you don't have to be six piety, you just have to turn up. Here's the, the royal jelly. And you can see they immediately just start eating everything. So I have Appetation. Uh, maybe our Brilliance to make that stronger. And then I'm going to apport anything that I see. Oh, there's an orange crystal plate. This always happens. Uh, whenever you're a troll or something like that that can't use this, you'll always find it. Um, let's grab the magic mapping, I guess. Up there. Yoink. Grab this uh, identity scroll. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here if we're quick. So we got a magic mapping. We want this artifact rope. Oh right, we didn't <laughs> we weren't we didn't get it to us. Alright. Uh so we want the book. We got it. Uh what else? Heal wins. I guess we want to see what this magic robe is. And then uh, the Wand of Acid, which we got to us. All right. So I'll pick up all these things. And don't worry, the, the slimes won't eat the rune. Hey, uh, scroll, we don't know. They also won't eat artifacts. Oops, we failed that. Quickly get that scroll, please. Uh, and I guess we should have got that uh, stuff. It's still there. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. Okay, sweet. All right, so we got a we got a few things here, and also here's the one uh, guaranteed altar that um, most of the time when you're being a slime troll, this is the one you need to get to. If you um, if that happens to you, uh, 
Don't come in, in here too early. You still have to be strong enough to get to slime 5. So you have to be able to deal with acid warps, etc. But once you get here, um, one, don't kill the royal jelly. If you ever kill it, that's it. Jiva dies. You can't, you can't then convert to it. But what you what you normally do is you haste up and then you try to blink past the royal jelly, and you're basically just trying to run to the altar because as soon as you convert, then the royal jelly and all the jellies will turn neutral on you. Let's check out some of our stuff. Well, I do this steaming robe. Uh, what was it? <laughs> Plus two robe of plus invis, RF, R corrosion, strength three. That's really good. So we'll drop our plus one robe, and I'll check this other robe. Keep equipping yourself. Yep, yep. Even though these apparently these neutral monsters are making me think that uh, there are monsters nearby that are scary to me. So that's a plus two robe, so we can drop that one too. Uh, this one and that one. Cool, and let's put on our really cool artifact one. The plus invisibility, you can see it's at a 70% fail at the moment. That's something that we might want to train. Uh, usually about 5 points of evocations is enough to make it 50%. Uh, I'm not in a huge hurry though, but that's something I might do. That also means we now have us Protection from cold and protection from fire. Really good. Where's our cold come from? Yeah. Okay, we have that mutation. Cool. And what else did we get? Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. We have a scroll here that... Um, what have we not seen? Summoning or torment or holy word. Okay, if, it's, if I read torment and I torment all these slimes... I'm not sure, I think that won't get me in penance because I didn't know what it was, but I think I'd rather just not read that. And in fact, I'm going to ID it. Do I have more ID? No, I don't. Because uh, if it's summoning, I'd like to know. What's in our book of battle? Nothing else that we really need. Okay, let's drop the book of battle then. And all these fruit, because... Fruit annoys me. Uh, the book that we just picked up is... What is it? I thought there was another book that we picked up. Maybe I didn't actually import it to me. Whoops. This stuff is power. Okay, we don't want that either. And I'm really sad about the orange crystal plate armor. It's a so it's a it's a crystal plate armor, but it's plus eight, gives you arc magi, which in a fifteen rune game you will get spells in plus three in clarity, which means you can't be confused. So it's really good. Also, you can't be mesmerized in shoals, and that's handy as well. Right. Well, I guess let's grab our rune. Chiba. Okay, so he took away our tendrils already. So we just got first room slime rune. That's not not something that normally happens, but uh, one of the main benefits of being Jiva, you get a free rune. So we never have to think about our third rune. It's already been done. And then let's go back to Orcish Mines, I guess. Um, I want to say Orcish Mine Zero, actually, because I know there's a stone giant, so I'd like to at least have my regen up before I go in. Cool. Made it out. And maybe I'll explore this floor now, seeing that um, the Hydras are not scary anymore with Slimeify. Boink. Ooh. An artifact amulet. I'm not gonna put that on. I'd want to ID it because it could be, it could have quite bad properties. Um, well, contamination. I don't really care about. What else could it have? 
could have drain on it, which I didn't, wouldn't really care about. All right, let's do it then. No, it could be fragile, I guess. But that's all right. We already have spirit shield of our hat of the bear spirit, so really all this is giving us is one point of RN and two decks. So we'll just drop that. It gets destroyed as we take it off, which is what the fragile property does. Put our amulet of regen back on. You feel weaker, you feel agile. All right. You can see we've been dropped to 14 strength. <laughs> I think we started off at about 20 when we converted, and we now have 21 decks. So, Jiva doesn't really want us want us casting spells. It looks like he just wants us to dodge. Anyway, uh, once you he he tends to uh, mess with your stats depending on what armor you're wearing. So once you wear heavier armor, he'll start giving you strength back again. It's very considerate in that respect. Here's a ghost. I don't know that we can fight it. We can try. Uh, no, I don't think we can. Yeah, he really hurts. Alright. <laughs> Can't slimify a ghost. Pair of antenna grow on your head. You feel agile, you feel weaker. Yep. All in decks. You feel agile, you feel weaker. All in decks. 12 strength. This is the lowest strength troll of all time. Let's regen first. Well, we'll try again. No. Is that because we're losing our int? No, 24%. We're just getting unlucky. There we go. Alright. So, stone giant. We can throw some of our things back at him. It's pretty nearly dead. Um, I can start fighting him, and if he hurts me a lot, I can slimify him. So it's a really good panic button. This orc warrior has just an enchanted, ba enchanted battle axe. Um, I want to take this guy out. Man, it hurts so much with the mine on. Alright, so I know that there's probably going to be an orc warlord sitting there with a bunch of potentially mighted warriors. Um, that's a worry. What do I want to do? I think I'll just wait for a while. What happened there? I don't know. I feel like he mutated me. So I'm waiting for a bit in the in the hopes that the uh, guys won't still be sitting right there at the stairs. Again we lost we lost in for more decks was. Okay, that's alright. Basically, um, same thing as the stone giant. We'll start fighting, and if he really wrecks us, then we'll um, hit him with the slime fight. I'm gonna hit him with a wand of acid as well. Did I get him? Yeah, created him. Okay. Killed his own friend. Sucks for that guy. We did it. Good, let's eat their corpses. She was altering my body. My thoughts seem clearer, so we just got clarity as well. If we still have it by the time we go to Shoals, we won't be able to get mesmerized. Look at this. Alright, let's sing. Fighting to nine. What's our necro doing? 3.4. It goes so slow. Oh man, trolls. What do we get there? Your magical essence linked to your wands. That's okay. Uh, there's something I wanted to do. What did I want to do? Oh, I want to make a macro for my Song of Slain. So I now have macros for Confusing Touch, um, Regen, and Song of Slain. We'll regen before we go down, which is good practice whenever you go down new floors, but especially if you know you're about to start fighting already. Look at these large rocks. Should pick those up actually, before they get eaten by slimes. There we go. Um, an orc knight. Hmm. 
Mm. This is scary. All these, we don't want to fight all those mitered guys at once. Where did the knight go? Oh, he didn't come up. Yeah, he did. What are you doing, knight? Regen. And these guys should all be fine. An enchanted demon blade. <laughs> That's a cool vault. Are these... Yeah, they're rock walls, so you can dig that out if you were a sword user. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. Uh, if we get in a good spot to fight, maybe here, uh, we can sing. Here, once again, we show off the strength of Song of Sling with our casual. Miscast, miscast, miscast. A casual plus five slay bonus. What did we get there? You feel insulated. We just got Arlek. What a sick god. Oh, he has a flare of distortion. Whoops. Okay, well, he teleported me. Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. So we're just risking being abyss then. Guess we'll sing. I should have done it the first time. What do we get? You no longer feel cold resistant. Alright. That's Oak One. Do we get all our downstairs? Yeah, we did. So this is probably um, the entirety of Oak One. We hear a distant snort, so there's a lab labyrinth on this level. We have a bunch of magic mapping, so let's do it. And again, this trick about finding them. So you can see all these yellow things on my map. Um, any shops or entrances to labs will appear as these yellow things. So you don't actually, you don't actually know if you just look like this. But if you use this little trick, which I don't know if it's intentional, so this might be something the devs don't want you to know. If you hit Shift X and then you hit um, the button that finds downstairs, it will show you. So there we go. This one over here is the lab. Uh, it's very tricky. So um, yeah, the shops won't identify as a downstair, but your timed portals will. So how do we get there in time? Because all our, all our stairs are here. I'm going to have to fight through most of the floor to get down there. How much digging do I have? Can I form a Sid my way around the map? Maybe. I only have eight. What if I dig that way? I can maybe do that. There are a lot of enemies here. And a ghost. I'll let them come to the stair and then I'll bail. And I want to go to one of... I want to go to the stair that's to the left, not this one, although we can get some stabs. It's the other stair. This one. Alright, all these things notice me though. Um, yeah, so I think I want to start digging a path that way. I'm just going to go slowly. I should have checked this ghost too. It is a fine stock of wanderer. It's wielding a weapon of protection. That's okay. It's not like a weapon of distortion or something. Ooh, lagging out. Here we go. Formicid strats. And hopefully there's not a whole room full of orcs here. There is. And another ghost of Brendan D, and is a ghost with a weapon of venom. So another demon spawn berserker. Um, what I'm doing is really bad. So I'm basically 
uh, putting myself in danger to get to this lab, which is, I did it last game as well with my Draconian Fire Elementalist in Lair. I put myself in quite a lot of danger to try to get to a volcano. It's really not smart, but at this point we've committed. So I'll start heading towards the lab and I guess I'm going to fear everyone away from it as I get a bit closer. Alright, let's go. Fear. I can't get the ghosts, but we got most of the orcs. Alright, and this is going to be really fun when we come out of the lab. <laughs> so, uh, I may have just screwed myself, but whatever. Maybe it will be worth it. Um, we're not afraid of the Minotaur because we can Slimify him in one shot. Although that does mean any gear that he has on him will potentially lose. Uh, I think I might I might teleport before I come back out, but we'll see. We'll deal with that in a second. How much digging? We've only got five digging left. That's still okay. We have more fears. We have a lot of teleport. Uh, we feel stronger and stupid. So he he really just doesn't want us to have int. I think we have less now than we started with, maybe 11. So all the leveling up of int that I've done, it's all been for naught. Yeah, we have int plus two, so I think we definitely have less int now than when we started. Oh well. The life of a slime troll. Don't get attached to, or certainly don't get attached to any items you see on the dungeon floor, but don't get attached to your mutations or your stats, because they will not remain the same for long. I could try to dig out walls in here to make it faster, but uh, better to just hang on to my digging charges. And if we really can't do this lab because it's impossible, we'll just wait for a few thousand turns. In which case the walls will rearrange themselves. Hey, there's a jelly in here. I didn't know they'd spawn in the lab. Uh, I hope they feel strong, we feel clumsy. Okay, so Jeeva's changing his mind now. He doesn't want all this. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Safa is a legend, by the way. He's a really old school player who has uh, a lot of really impressive low turn count speedruns. Um, if you ever get a chance, you should watch him. I don't know how he ended up on the Australian server, but that's cool. All right, this looks like the end here. This massive thing of straight walls, so. Uh, this would be our, that's probably our Minotaur there. We're sensing him with our small antenna. No, maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. This is definitely the end. Alright, so we'll check out what the Minotaur has. We'll XP him. He's wearing, he's got a ring on him. So I don't really want to slimify him because I'd like to get that ring. So I'm going to put on my regen, my confusing touch. When he comes around the corner, I'm going to acid wand him with my last wand of acid. He appeared unharmed, which makes me think that his ring has protection from corrosion on it. All right, we'll start. We confused him, so this should be fine. Uh, let's check out this ring then. Uh, it's an artillery ring. Okay, we don't want that. Uh, it has our poison, but the randomly being teleported around is not something you ever want. Cool. So let's turn on our, turn off our auto pickup, so I don't pick up all these items when I step on it, and I can see what I want. Uh, the stuff, uh, the scroll of teleport. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the lightning rod. Uh, this is. Stuff or poison, it doesn't do anything for us. Uh, we also accidentally dropped the teleport. Alright. 
Book of the Warp. Uh, they're the stronger level, the higher level translocation spells. So uh, there's no way we're ever getting to control blink, which is a level 8 spell. Not in a 3 ring game. And it would be hard even in 15, because trolls are really dumb. Um, I guess I want the lightning rod. Just in case I end up training a little bit of evocations to use my invoke invisibility. Um, I may as well at least carry it out, although in that case um, I'll need to carry it or else slimes are going to eat it. Alright, so we know this is going to be an absolute bloodbath when we emerge from this lab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a teleport scroll first. Well actually I'm going to turn on my regen. No I'm not. I'll try again. We regen. Uh, I'm going to read a teleport and then we're going to head out because, yeah, that's exactly why we didn't want to deal with all of that nonsense. And we're back over here. Um, well, we're in a corner, so that's pretty good. And I'm thinking, because we, we're at about 41 minutes, we're probably not going to clear this whole orc before the end of a video in a reasonable time. So I think we'll wrap that one up there. Thanks for joining me. See you guys next time. We'll finish orc. Bye.